All right, to other news of the day now, police still on the lookout for a suspect in connection with the death of a Mililani man. 24-year-old Shane Dilwith was indicted for manslaughter today and stands accused of killing 51-year-old Thomas Morikawa. Police say on Friday, December the 8th, Dilwith assaulted Morikawa without any provocation at the Jungle Juice Market in Mililani. Morikawa was hospitalized in critical condition and then died a week later. Sarah Madison spoke to the victim's friends and follows up with more tonight. Sarah. Howard, it's been about two weeks since the incident. Friends of the victim tell me they want the person accused of doing this to come forward and turn himself in. His friends and family called him Tommy. Dean Hashida has known Tommy for years and was with his friend at the hospital until his passing. Uh, he's going to be truly missed. There's only one of him. There won't be another. Probably one of the nicest guys you'll ever meet. Uh, if you needed your car fixed, he'd fix your car. Generosity, kindness. Um, you called him, he was there. Police say the suspect and victim were acquaintances. We all don't know what happened. Yeah, we just want your side of the story. Please just turn yourself in on behalf of the family. Tommy was laying right, right over here. We learned there were witnesses and surveillance cameras at Jungle Juice Market the night Thomas Morikawa was hit. Tommy was standing, they were standing here, and the guy was standing really close to him, like right here in his face. Tammy May was a friend of Morikawa and describes what the surveillance footage showed. They were talking, and then all of a sudden the guy came up with the uppercut and knocked him out. Just the uppercut, he just went off the ground. May came to the store after the incident and found Morikawa lying on the ground. He was laying down with his face down, and there was blood coming out. And my said, so I, I, I said, Tommy, I called his name twice. He wasn't responding. Morikawa was hospitalized in critical condition and died a week later. Officials say he died from a head injury due to blunt force head trauma. He's a little guy, you know, he's not a fighter. And he did not expect that. It was sad. Senseless act. Senseless. Two people lost, two people lost their lives. So sad. Again, police say the suspect is still on the run. Anyone with information about this incident is asked to call Crime Stoppers. Marissa, back to you.